Hi all, welcome to Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Dr. Neetu P.S. Today we are going to discuss about halfway rectifiers with capacity filter. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's move to the video. So in our previous video, we have discussed about the working of halfway rectifier. Today we are going to discuss about halfway rectifier with a reservoir capacitor. So in the halfway rectifier circuit which we have already discussed, the extra thing which we have added is a capacitive filter here. So we have input supply and auto transformer is used. So your 240 volt supply is converted into a 12 volt over here. You have a diode D1 and here a capacitor C1 and RL is your load resistor. So we have the secondary voltage that is shown over here and previously we have seen that this is a halfway rectifier. So only in the positive half cycle we will get the output and negative half cycle your diode will be in reverse biased condition. So you will not be getting any output over here. So in this voltage across your RL this is without capacitor. So if we are using a capacitive filter what is the changes that occur over here. So according to your charging and discharging of the capacitor so when it starts in the positive half cycle you will get the output over here then the capacitor output will be like this. So you have charging and discharging of your capacitor over here. So halfway rectifier with a capacitive filter you have D1 that is your diode and a capacitor filter over here and this is your auto transformer and a load resistance is connected that is RL. So in the positive half cycle your input voltage V in is the input voltage which we are giving and you will get if you are applying a 240 volt supply you will be getting it is like step down transformer. So it will step down your input voltage and you will be getting a 12 volt voltage over here. So in the positive half cycle this terminal will be positive that is A and B terminals are there your A will be positive and B will be negative. So current uh, will be passing through the diode because your diode is forward biased condition. So your diode here current will pass through and a current flow will be there across your diode and the capacitor and it will start from the point A and it will reach us to the point B. So you will be having a voltage. So that is shown in the figure here. You have a peak voltage. This is your load voltage across your load resistance RL. So your charging time constant that will be equal your series resistance and the capacitance which you are using here. And a series resistance means it is the secondary winding resistance your diodes forward resistance. So next we can see the so already positive half cycle is done next is the negative half cycle. So in the negative half cycle you can see that you will be having a voltage in the negative half cycle. So in the negative half cycle you have to check for your terminals A and B. Your terminal A is negative and your terminal B is positive. So your diode that will be reversed biased condition. So it will act as an open circuit there. So there will not be any current flow in that in this circuit when your diode is reverse biased. So there will be a discharging time constant that is equal to the load resistance and the capacitance. Again it will switch to the positive half cycle. So same as what we have uh, seen uh, before. Again the process will continue. So in the positive half cycle again your diode will be forward biased. Like that you will be getting the charging and discharging. So halfway rectifier with smoothing circuit you have 
RC smoothing circuit and LC smoothing circuit. So RC smoothing circuit means you will be using a resistance and a capacitor with your reservoir circuit. LC smoothing circuit means you have a inductor and a capacitor. So both the circuit it is shown here. RC smoothing you have a resistance and a capacitor and LC smoothing you have a inductance and a capacitor. So RC's RC smoothing circuit it has two additional components one is your capacitor and a resistance. So this will act as a filter to remove the ripple. So the value of the additional capacitor is chosen so that these components have a negligible reactance at the ripple frequency. So Xc will be Xc by root of R square plus Xc square because you are having a filter over here which will remove the ripple. And in LC smoothing circuit you have a inductance L and a capacitance that is the additional components. So at ripple frequency your inductance exhibit a high inductive reactance while your capacitance exhibit a low value of capacitive reactance. So capacitive reactance Xc and you have an inductance L that will exhibit a high inductive reactance. So the combined effect it reduces the amplitude of the ripple while having negligible effect on the direct voltage. So this is your halfway rectifier with a filter in that we have seen both the RC smoothing circuit and an LC smoothing circuit. Hope this is clear for everyone. If you find this useful, please share it with others. Thank you.